want to do an update video on the Barbados cherry that we planted seven days ago. We get questions about when does it flower, how much is it going to flower, how much fruit are you going to get, so on and so on. Well, this morning we came over to the yard and noticed something cool. And I want to show you why we're excited. So this is the group of Barbados cherries. I've got about 15 of them here that we took the one that we planted in last week's video from. So you can see this group here. There's no flowers, there's no fruit. These are in containers waiting to get planted here at the property, okay? So you can see these, there's really nothing on them at the moment. So we're gonna cut away and show you the one that we planted last week and show you why we're excited. Okay, so this is what we're excited about. <laughs> so we came in this morning and this is the Barbados that we planted seven days ago from the group that we just showed you. See how many flowers are That's on the That's crazy. There's like a hundred flowers. So what, why do you think that this one's flying like crazy after seven days? Well, the only difference between this tree and the group that it came from is that this one was planted. Right. So what I'm guessing is because it's in the ground, it's holding more moisture. The stuff that's in the pots, they get water when we get to them, usually every day or every other day. Right. So I think they get a little stressed out. But this guy's in the ground and it's staying moist, right. holding moisture. I mean, it shows. Yeah. We went from no flowers at all to... Right. The, the, o <laughs> the only difference is that this one was planted, right? which I know the, 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 uh, the soil, I mean, the other ones are in soil as well, obviously, too, but the fact that this one is holding moisture right. and the ground is cooler. True. So when you're, when you're container growing, you have to be mindful of the fact that, hey, it's above ground. And when we're 115 degrees, those pots are 115 degrees. True, it's degrees in a too. black pot. In right? a black plastic pot. Right. Well, the ground is a good 20 degrees cooler. So That's there you difference. have it. It's 20 degrees. So I'm, I'm guessing that if the root zone is a little cooler, that you're going to get, obviously, you've gotten a little more flower production and hopefully fruit production as well, too. So, so would you say if you had a Barbados cherry, just put it in the ground? Well, put it in the ground. Right. But if you are going to container grow, in the summertime, move the container to a cooler shaded area so the tree, I mean, we already know that obviously. You don't want right. the tree to bake in the sun anyway. Right. But uh, move the pots if possible to somewhere where it's a little bit cooler. It's gonna stress the tree out a little bit less. Well, I think this tree looks healthy now, so. Yeah, flowers are pretty. I'm really excited. Yeah. It. It's always cool to learn something new. Right. And it's nice to see it too. Yeah. Talking is easy, right? So there you go. <laughs> Barbados cherry.